Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing good. Let me know how you guys are doing. I am back with um, a bit of a different video. We're doing Friday favorites. I used to do Friday favorites back in the day, long time ago. And I wanted to bring it back because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I need old school stuff to deal with everything that's going on. You know what I mean? I've just realized, right? This is the Friday favorites and fails of February. And that's a lot of Fs. And it's the first one that I've done in ages. So it's like the first Friday favorite and fails of February. Is that five? <laughs> five, five, five Fs. Five, six Fs. Oh, also I think I have five products. Seven Fs. I don't know, I'm just being really silly. Maybe we should re redo that. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the Make a Chair. Today I'm doing my Friday favorites. That's it, that's all you need to know. And also, if you want to join in with Friday Favorites, feel free to do so. If you are an Instagrammer, or a YouTuber, or a blogger, the last Friday of the month or the first Friday of the month. I just thought it'd be something cool that we can do. Or if you're not any of those things, you can just comment below some of the things that you've been loving. And it's just a nice way of keeping track of things that you like. I have a mixture of favorites. I have some like personal stuff, some home stuff, some things that I've been loving, some things that I haven't been loving, and also two products for next month because I thought that would be kind of a cool thing if something like launches in the previous month or I got something to try that I'd mention it so that we can then come back to it. So I have two products that I want to come back to in March. March. So yeah, so we'll be coming back to those. Let's just jump into it, shall we? I've been talking for too long. Let's go. My hair is really weird today and I don't like my makeup. And so every time I see myself in the camera, I'm like, oh, I wanna go and wash my face <laughs> and brush my hair, but it doesn't seem to work. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off with a favorite and a fail, which are like a combination because they've somehow ended up in the same category. These guys, Nooks, is that what it's called? Nooks oil. And I love the original. The original is like my go-to. The original is this one. And I shared it on my community page. I shared it on my Instagram. Somebody said that I was sponsored and I wasn't. I had bought my own. I bought these myself. I would love to be sponsored by them if they want to sponsor me. And I would definitely just close if they did, but they haven't sponsored me. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, compose yourself. This oil can be used like all over your body, your nails, your hair it's beautifully scented so if you want to have that really fresh scent like you've just had a bath but you want to smell like that all day this one would be my my go-to my my favorite everyone was saying no you gotta try this this other one the pink one a way better scent and it's really really nice and it's exactly the same it's just a different scent and I was like cool definitely gonna try it because it's cheaper for some reason so I gave it a go I I don't like it. The original is like my favorite thing in the entire world. I just want to smell like this all the time. But I just thought because everyone was going on about it, I have to give the pink one a try. Obviously I use it all because I don't like waste anything. But Avril, my friend Avril, I'm sorry, I don't like it. She likes this one. She thinks it's really nice, but I don't like it. I really, really, really like this one. The original one, in my opinion, is amazing. Somebody said, this was gonna be discontinued. Why would they discontinue it? Why? Why would you do that? I don't see how that's possible because this is their original. Why would they get rid of their original? The original, you can't beat it. You can try, you can try, but you can't beat the original. I have none left. It just smells so good. It literally just smells really just fresh. I've just had the most luxurious bath. That's what this smells like. This one, it's got like more of a citrusy sort of tang. It's still really, really nice, but I still, I still prefer this one over the pink one. So favorites and fails in one. Moving away from beauty products, I wanna talk about my planner. And I wanna talk about this because I think a lot of people with everything that's going on feel that, you know, planners, cause they're not really doing anything, aren't really, important, but I actually disagree. I think this is the best time to get used to using a planner because you are at home all the time. So you are able to like write things down. And I write down even the most basic things because with everything that's going on, every day feels like it's kind of molding into one day, you know, like, didn't I just do laundry? And it's like, no, it was like a week ago, but it feels like I just did it. Or I feel like every day I feel like I'm doing the same thing, but keeping track of it actually helps you feel like, oh no, I am having days that are different. They just feel very similar because you're in the same environment every day, you know? So writing things down has really helped me feel a little bit more in control and have some goals and stuff like that. Because sometimes I'll just write down like date night, 
I'll just put down date night and it's something to kind of work towards, something to look forward to. I just found that it's really helped me to stay on track. And a little trick, if you forget to fill in a day, here's a little something that I do. I put an inspirational saying in the area that I haven't filled in. So say I forget to do something on on a Monday, I forgot to write down what I did that day and I can't remember what I did. So I'll just write an inspirational quote instead or a joke or something like that because then when I flip through the pages, it looks full and it feels like I've done something, but you know, if I've forgotten, it's fine. And also there's an inspirational quote or a little joke there. That's just something silly that I like to do. Get yourself a planner. It does really help. It just keeps track of your days. And then it stops the feeling like they're all just one giant day. Hopefully by the end of this, things will be different. And I love mine, look at mine. It has SC for Sinead Katie at the bottom. Um, it's Oso oh Bello and you can check them out on their Instagram and she is such a lovely person, really, really lovely, and she makes these amazing products. You have to actually see it in real life to really appreciate the unbelievable quality of the paper and the detail, and, and you can pick the design, you can pick the color. It's beautiful, not sponsored or anything. I just, she's a lovely, lovely person, and I just wanted to give her a shout out, and it really has been helping me, you know, this, this past like year, it's just been keeping me sane. And now I'm gonna tick off create video with diary, done. Moving back on to makeup products, and I wanna talk about this, the F20. Another F, F20. Did I wash this brush, put it back in its original packaging just to show you on camera, to then take it out? Yes. I don't know why I did that, I just did. This is its packaging. Now I'm gonna unbox it. YouTube makes you do really weird things. So this is what it looks like. It's flat in the bottom, so you can literally stand it, not on your hand, but it's a really dense brush, Look, it passes the brush test. That's when you know it's a good brush, when it doesn't fall under its own weight. And you can do a full face makeup. I actually did a full face on my Instagram. Yeah, on my Instagram, I did a full face using this, like bronzer, contour, highlight, blush, foundation, everything using this one brush. It washes and dries very quickly. Love it. What can I say? I used the mini one to do my makeup today because I didn't want to use this one because I washed it and put it back in its box. Again, who knows why? It's really soft, beautiful to use, nice and dense, but still has a little bit of movement. I should probably do a full video using this. I do have one actually, but it was from about nine years ago. So I should probably do an updated one showing you how to create an entire full face of makeup using the F20. Beautiful brush, absolutely amazing. If you're gonna get one, get two. So you can have one used and one clean and then swap it out because this is all you need to do a full face. I want to ask a favor. There's another F. Um, I want to ask a favor of anybody. I love this perfume so much and I want to know if anybody knows where you can buy it like wholesale. Summer flowers. This is one of my favorite perfumes and every time I wear it, it just makes me happy. Even if I am in the worst possible mood. If I spray this, I am happy. This is the perfume that I wore the day I met Davey. So every time I, I spray it and smell it, I just reminds me of that day because we had just, the, the first day we met was just, it was just lovely. But anyway, and I was just wondering if anybody knows where you can like buy this online, buy this in bulk or something, because I love it so much. As much as I have like a Lancome perfume and an, an Yves Saint Laurent perfume, I usually keep those for like really special occasions where this is like my day-to-day -day one because it's it's a little, I guess it's, it's cheaper basically. And so I wanna keep those other ones special occasions, but this one also makes me incredibly happy. And so if anybody knows where you can get this, order this online, buy it in bulk, or you know who the suppliers are, I would really appreciate it. But it's one of the most beautiful scents, in my opinion, in the world, perfect for summertime. If you're looking for something kind of cheap and cheerful and literally cheerful, because it will cheer, cheer you up in my opinion. Try this, Summer Flowers. Also, my mom loves this and so does my grandmother. And I won't be able to see them anytime soon, um, but I I, um, I want to be able to bring a bottle whenever I, I do get to go and see them. So, even though now I feel sad because I'm thinking of my mom and my grandmother, but <laughs> this makes me very happy. So moving on, I'm actually gonna talk about a home item, and this is a pot, a Le Creuset pot. And you don't have to actually get the Le Creuset brand, you can just get any of these these pots. I've always wanted one, but I was putting it off because they're kind of expensive, and then Davy was gonna get one for me for my birthday. I'm, I'm a little psychic, so I knew he was gonna get me one, I just had this feeling, and I asked him, and I was like, you can get it if it's on sale, but don't, don't spend money on me because I, I don't want you to spend any money. But he's like, no, 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 it's for your birthday. So he managed to find it on sale. So there's a little trick trying to get it on sale and it is unbelievable. It's really easy to clean and it just makes your cooking taste 
better. And I know that doesn't, you're like, how does it make your cooking taste better? Well, you know when you can have like a bottle of Diet Coke versus a can of Diet Coke versus a glass bottle. You know, they all taste different, even though it's the same thing. That's kind of what it's like cooking with one of these pots. Everything just tastes better. Davy makes sauces in it. We make rice in it. I'm, I baked bread in this pot. Sauce casserole, I've made a shepherd's pie in it. Like if you're thinking about getting one, I would definitely recommend it. We use it all the time and our cooking just tastes better. And I just really like looking at it. I just leave it on my counter. I'm not gonna bring it upstairs because I feel like if I bring it up here, I'm gonna drop it because I'm very accident prone. <laughs> and it's my favorite thing. And I feel like it's the one thing that I would drop and break if I brought it up here. So it sits on my counter, blends in with everything, and you can buy it in so many different colors and so many different sizes. I think mine is the medium one with the lid and it's the round. I know it's weird to talk about like cooking stuff on a makeup channel, but I just really wanted to let you guys know that it's, that it's awesome. So those are my Friday favorites. However, I have two more things to share with you that we're gonna be focusing on for next month. So I wanna start off with the new benefit mascara that launched. I really like this mascara. I've only applied it a few times just to kind of test it out. So we're going to focus on it for next month. I mean, Benefit make amazing mascaras. I think this is better than all of the other ones that they have, but I'll focus more on it for next month and let you guys know. But first impressions, it's awesome. I was actually, I went to the, um, I didn't go to the event, obviously. I was on the Skype event and I didn't realize I was going to be on camera. And so I turned on my camera anyway and I had this weird filter on my face and I didn't know that I had the filter on and it gave me like these really dark eyebrows and red lips and I could not get this filter off. And the thing is, it didn't look like a filter. It looked like I did my makeup really weird that day. <laughs> and I kept saying it to Davy. I was like, like whispering to Davy. I was like, can you find a shutting and get rid of just, just filter? And he's like, I don't think there's filter on your face. And I'm like, those are not my eyebrows. It was, it was like that cat guy with the cat filter on, but I would have preferred to have been a cat. Let, let's be honest, because having incredibly dark eyebrows and then these red lips, I looked like a clown. And it looked so real. It really looked like that's what I, that was my goal that day, was to have my makeup that way. But anyway, the new mascara is great. Aside from my embarrassing, embarrassing story, I'll let you guys know more about it really soon, but so far so good. Next up, I have this. This is a very interesting concept. So Pestle and Mortar, they make amazing skincare. And what they've come out with, is they've come out with this laundry bag, but it's not just a laundry bag. It's your laundry bag for your beauty products when you've used them. So if you have like empty products, you put them inside here. And then whenever you have the time to actually go through them, you can figure out how to recycle them. And it's basically to try and cut down on waste of products, which I think is such a really good idea. And it also has a little code on the back that you can scan and then find out more details of how to properly recycle your beauty products. I just think it's really cute. It just, it just hangs up on your door. And it's actually a really cute bag. I think that's lovely. And actually their skincare is lovely. If you are looking for some really nice, like, you know, luxurious products, give them a go. Their moisturizer, amazing. So those are my Friday favorites, but I'd love to hear from you guys as well. Oh, I totally forgot. There's a couple of other things I wanted to mention. Favorite song and favorite show. I've been listening to a lot of old school JLo music. You can't beat some old school JLo on a sunny day. And also I've been watching Parks and Rec. And it's really good. I don't know what me and Dave are gonna do because we're almost finished it. And it's like, it's such a good show. I think we're just gonna rewatch it. But if you have any recommendations on songs you've been liking or shows you've been watching, definitely let me know. And also I'm gonna be watching the Britney Spears um, documentary tonight. I think if I have if I have time. And Britney Spears is one of my favorite people in the entire world. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but I don't follow a lot of celebrities, but like she's one of my favorites. She follows me on Twitter actually. Maybe she doesn't anymore, but she, she used to. I'm anxious to see what this is gonna be about because I'm very protective of her and I just want the absolute best for her. So yeah, if you've seen it, let me know what you think of it. And um, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. Anyway, goodbye my friends. I will see you hopefully on Monday. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Remember you're doing the best you can and I will see you soon.